Welcome, this is about the Arglinx D ISO. On the website arglinxd.com, we talk about all kinds of desktops. So all the information is available for you to just go study because here we are university, we provide knowledge, it's online, listen, do your thing with it and enjoy. This is the Arglinx D CHDWM video. We've just made one, how to install it with Calamaris. But the most difficult thing is actually the original, the, the origin of Arclinx D, the ISO, is that it's a bare ISO. You've chosen something bare. You downloaded the most bare ISO we have, the Arclinx D ISO, and then you could do your thing. You can choose how to get things running via our scripts. And that was the original purpose of Arclinx D. So the idea is actually to say, look, let's go and run things with scripts or start typing the same commands that we put in scripts, right? Or with a tweak tool or with the BISOs or from Arch Linux, which is phase seven, the Arch way installation. So this video is about scripting, not via Calamars that was already, is already covered. Okay. Super F7, play around in virtual machine. I must have missed the button there. Or I'm missing something altogether. My other screen. Nope, there is no Super F7. Super F7, virtual box does not want to be starting. Did I do an update of something? Do I need to reboot? That's clear. Control shift escape, virtual box. There is not nothing virtual about it. <laughs> D, virtual box. Oh, 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 oh. Control shift D, virtual. I don't have it. Ouch, right? And why is that? Eric, they, they got me, they got me. Control F. <laughs> you get it? I am of course on CHDWM. So the look of my machine is the same as the look on my virtual box. I was already on virtual machine. Oh, close. I'll leave it in, it's, it's fun. <laughs> I got tricked, basically. I got tricked. So, booting up from an ISO boot manager. Okay. And this is, uh, you know, the drill. I'm not going to repeat myself. Well, I am. So, NVIDIA guys, this one, Intel, AMD, this one, and the virtual machine my guys, the first line. And if everything fails, that line. Whew. Quick and short. Oh my God, ah, oh, the system got me, they, they tricked me. So we're booting up with the Arglinx DI, so we're not gonna go for Calamars, we're going to go, go for the original thing, which means bare installation. If you ever watch the video, how to install Arch Linux, then you say, oh my God, what are they doing? What are they typing? That's the bit we skip. Calamars will do things for you, but you still, you end up in something black, right? Base installation means the default that you see everywhere. Calamaris is going to ask, what language do you want? Fine. It's going to ask where you live. Cool. It's going to ask what keyboard do you want? Fine. Belgian. Next. And then some drop downs or not, right? Depends if you want to give the user the power to choose or you say, no, it's going to be butter of S and it's going to be like that. All right, then it is butter reverse. Deal with it. And we log in, like so. Install, install now. So did not select anything. The what you see, what you get idea will be Xorg drivers stop. 
normally we would want something like an SDDM or a GDM or an LXDDM or a LIE even, right? But later on, a desktop, MATE, Plasma, PSPWM, we're gonna do a fork of DWM, CHA, DWM. Maybe some sound, Pulse Audio, Pipewire, a Bluetooth, mm -hmm. printing, uh-huh. So nothing is done, nothing of, the, of that kind. Everything needs to be typed, known, or we run our scripts. But even those scripts will be not 100% perfect. It's up to you. So the Arclix D bear or base installation is not something you do coming straight out of Mac or Windows. No, it's something you do later after years on Arch Linux or Endeavor OS or Garuda, right? Anything Arch. That's it's study. What are all these packages? What do I need? How to enable a service like a Bluetooth service and printing and all that. Samba, do I need it? Do I want it? It's a lot of questions and you need to be prepared before you start with Arch Linux D ISO. Let's pause. And then we restart. And then the Sherlock Holmes story starts, right? Now, there is, yes, you guessed it, an article on articlexd.com to help you, a page where it says what to do. I'm Eric. Hi, my password. Yep, the same. And then you're in a system with a certain, a certain kernel, right? And then, of course, you update. But first thing is, you want to have a fast server. And when you update, you get the packages in as fast as possible. The speed is your speed you pay for, right? That's the maximum, always. That's the drain the ISP opens or closes. The more you pay, the more he opens. It's simple as that. And then we type something called mirror, which is an alias, which go, is going to go over all the possible uh, servers that Arch Linux, listen carefully, not Arch Linux, Arch Linux provides, but it's 90% of our packages, if not 95. And this setup is probably 99, right? Because there are six or seven Arch Linux packages, that's it. And those are there for convenience and for the look for the logo, the one you see from NeoFetch. Hey, we want to show off our logo, right? So otherwise it would be the Arch logo. Simple as that. So he's going to ask around and say, who's fast? Who's near me? Some of them fail, so he will not contact them again. He's on the blacklist, so to speak. So that's cool. Not every server is online, you know that. And it's, by the way, just a warning, right? Warnings are warnings. And then we update our system. Since it's a fairly new ISO, just created today, right? This is it. So what do we have on a base bare? installation you see the icons those are coming from us as well what else sudo pacman minus remove anything arc likes and let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine what, what am i doing two four six eight ten eleven eleven packages wallpapers okay doesn't matter ten packages simplicity is the look of sdm mm. Don't need it if you like the blue one from the default SEDM. Grub should be nice, right? The theme Vimix and stuff like that. Alacrity settings, the welcome app. Keyring. Without keyring, without mirrorless, there are no packages of Arclinks. So basically, it's, it's the most minimal we can get, and that's always the goal. No bloat. Yes, bloat. In the sense that we don't know what kind of um, video drivers you need, so we just put these on there. Hey, you can delete any of the things you don't need, right? Simple as that. Then, you don't want to stay here. We've um, done our mirror, done our update, up all 
We only do that if you have anything AUR related. This is a new system, nothing's there. Next thing, maybe you like to have some kind of system. So in this case, we're making a video about C-H-A-T-W-M Git. It's gonna get all these things in, dash, EWM, all the things it needs, it requires, boom, installed. Dependencies. That's there. Now we'd like to be greeted with something. Sudo pacman minus s. I'm gonna try lie. Has been a while. Lie. And I'm gonna enable it. System CTL enable lie or SEDM, which is the default, right? Lie. Let's try that one out. That's it. Now I do know I need several things. I know. I need the sexy hotkey demon. I don't know if it was a dependency. I do think it was a dependency. Let's see. Hotkey demon. I've put it in there as dependency. So net no change. What's not in there probably as dependency is Alacrity. Our terminal. It's there already. Cool. Pseudo Pacman minus S. There is probably no file manager. Nope. So this is the Sherlock Holmes story. What do I need? I need to go log in. When I log in, Rofi is going to be there. We're going to have all kinds of things. But thanks to my dependencies that I've put in the package build, a lot of the things are already there. Otherwise, you have to keep thinking. Do I need polybar? Do I need a polybar configuration? And so on and so on. It is the intention to be bare. And this is lie. Maybe you like this black thing. I do like it. It feels like I'm on the matrix. <laughs> and there we go, right? Ha! <sighs> it doesn't like it. Let's see if it's a lie problem. Control F2. So right control F2, F3. Try it out until you get it. And then sudo system, sorry, sudo pacman minus s as idiom back to the default knowing that it works sudo system ctl and then enable as idiom with force because there is already something right in place so with force and then it works sudo reboot will we be greeted with as idiom and see if the issue is something we still need to figure out or if it's the SDM and lie thing. So basically we're missing stuff. And I don't know which, what things we may need, but we need stuff in order for CHADWM to work. So back to control F3. And the question is, of course, what do we miss? Guess what? Eric made the noob mistake. <laughs> CD. Well, CD, right? We're in home. Present working directory. Okay. CD the dot config. What did I forget? This is a machine and it requires settings configurations ah i should have done the scale right yep off we go and that's the report it's fun it is until it's frustrating <laughs> ta-da right stupid me how to start we don't want to see you again quit this is not the look people would like to have when coming out of the box, right? So that's the Arknex B. The B wants to be nice. Say, hey, everything is there, everything works, and everything is nice. And where's the wallpaper? We don't have that here. Control T. Ah, <gasps> working. Pseudo Pacman minus S. Mm. S. S what? Nitrogen. 
and Faye. But I think Faye is installed. Let's have a look. Nope. <laughs> Both of them need to be there. Super X. Super X. Oh, yeah. Pseudo Pac-Man minus S. The Arch Linux logout is not there. The Arch Linux tweak tool is not there. Actually, that's a quite good uh, a good idea to use the ADT to install all the missing things. But then we're not playing the Arch or the Sherlock Holmes story, right? And then then we're saying, let's skip that. <laughs> so, Super X, there he is. Log out. Log in. <gasps> what happened? Faye's there. Faye realizes. I got a wallpaper to show. There you go. I got a wallpaper. This is not my icon of choice at all. Okay. Icons. How do we set icons? Super Shift D. Oops. Right. Control T. Pseudo Pacman minus S. The D menu. Do we have the D menu? No. Super Shift D. Ah, we have the D menu. Why is these things so dark? Pseudo Pacman minus S Pikem. And this is what I mean, don't start too soon. You need to know all the pieces of the puzzle if you want to, well, be part of this Arcanix D story. You need to figure it out. And what I pressed was Ctrl Alt O. Ctrl Alt O. Activate Pikem and stop Pikem. But if it's not installed, you can't activate anything. That's the Sherlock Holmes story. Icons. Alex Appearance. Nope, not installed. Pseudo Pac-Man. Minus S. Alex Appearance. Done. Now, I would like to have... Sorry. Uh, super Q again. I would like to install the beautiful icons that really match it and that's the Arclinex Candy Beauty and Git. Those are the icons I want to have. So this is nice, beautiful, but no, thank you. Alex Appearance, Arc Dark, that's installed. Icon Theme, Arclinex Candy Beauty, thank you very much. Much better. A little bit smaller, bigger, whatever your choice. Control H. This is the size I would like to have. And then you keep going. This little, little nasty icon, if we go for a logout and log back in, should be looking nice now. And off you go. This thing launches or not. I've seen this happen before. I'll discuss it with the developer why it's just pops up and then is gone again. So that's EW. It's not needed, but it's nice to have. This is Discord if you install it, Telegram if you install it, Minstick if you install it, and these are all desktops. And then you keep on um, adding more and more. And this is the size of the memory, by the way. Control Shift Escape is something I wanted to press. Control Alt T. So, ooh, <laughs> I'm shouting. Pseudo Pacman minus S. What is it called again? The task manager, I think. I do like my control shift escape and have a look. And here you see indeed memory 573324. <laughs> right. It's always the same. Every single thing measuring things is different. Conky is different than this and then some command and then different than up here and doesn't really matter. I have 32 gig memory. I got enough and I don't mind it is filled up. Okay, here we end. I mean, you have to end somewhere. I can open things, I can close things, I can start things and I can stop things. I can start learning about C-H-A-T-W-M.